Ice ages occur due to the cycles of Earth's movement and position around the Sun. During different times of these cycles, more or less insulation or incoming solar radiation is received by Earth. Uh, three different cycles called the Milankovitch cycles cause these changes. The first cycle is the cycle of eccentricity. Earth's orbital band is not consistently circular or elliptical. A complete cycle of the Earth orbiting the Sun takes from 100,000 to 400,000 years. In a more circular orbit, the Earth's ice age periods would occur more consistently, but in elliptical orbits, the Earth's ice age periods would occur with more variation due to the different distances from the Sun. The second of these cycles is Earth's tilt, or obliquity. The obliquity is the reason why Earth has seasons. The average obliquity is 23.5 degrees, and it actually can range from 22.1 to 24.5 degrees, and then back to 22.1, which the whole cycle takes approximately 41,000 years to complete. The current tilt is 23 0.44 degrees and is declining slowly. Research done by Milankovic su suggests that ice ages would occur during the minimal tilt of Earth at 22.1 degrees. The reason behind this is because there is less insulation being received at the poles during the summer months, resulting in less melting of snow and ice. During the winter months, there would be more water vapor due to a warmer air in the polar regions, which would increase the snowfall. The third Milankovitch cycle is called precession. Precession is the change in the orientation of the rotational axis of a rotating body, with that rotating body being Earth. Think of the Earth as a spinning top, wobbling and rotating in a conical motion. Precession is caused by the gravitational influence of the sun and moon acting on Earth's equatorial bulge. A complete cycle of precession ranges from 19,000 to 23,000 years. All three of these cycles must come together to create a glacial period. However, without one, an ice age is unable to occur. At the moment, the precession and eccentricity are favorable for a glacial period, but the axial tilt is tilted at 23.4 degrees, keeping us in an interglacial period. Glacial periods can last from 70,000 years to 90,000 years, while interglacial periods only last for about 10,000 to 30,000 years. The temperature changes between the depths of an ice age and a peak of an interglacial are very large and rapid and can change up to 13 degrees Celsius or 23 degrees Fahrenheit in a few years or decades. The Milankovitch cycles create differences in the solar radiation Earth receives, but positive feedback mechanisms perpetuate ice age cycles. For example, the ice albedo feedback causes ice to melt due to warming, which exposes more ocean and land surface, thus causing increased absorption of solar radiation to the surface. This cycle intensifies because of ice, ice's high albedo. These positive feedback systems drive climate changes on Earth.